With Artificial Intelligence Styler, we can create cartoon images, or even transform our own images into cartoon style. Styler is an artificial intelligence with features of text-to-image and image-to-image. -image. This artificial intelligence allows us to breathe life into our ideas. It is both an image creator and capable of changing the style of our images. Moreover, with the generative AI feature, Styler essentially serves as an online image editor. Initially, I visit the Styler website. I create a free user account and log in. I click on the new project option. In the next window, I enter the project name. I set the aspect ratio to 1 to 1 and click apply. In this tutorial, I intend to change the style of a real image to cartoon and 3D. From the left menu, I click on the import images option. In the next window, I select an image from my personal computer's hard drive and upload it. After a few moments, the image is uploaded. I click on the Fit to Content option to align the workspace dimensions with the image dimensions. From the left menu, I click on the Image to Image option. The prompt box is for describing the idea and concept with text. Famous people's names can also be included to change the image style based on these descriptions. There's also an option called Auto Prompt which can analyze the image and describe all its components, creating an automatic prompt. I enter the name of the character present in the image. From the Choose a Style section, I select the Innocent Cutie option. I increase the Structure Match slider, which adjusts how well the generated image matches the input composite in terms of content structure. In the Advanced section, there's the option of Negative Prompt to prevent the creation of unwanted elements. I click on Stylerize. After a short while, thumbnail previews of four cartoon images are displayed. I hover over these thumbnails to view them in larger size and review them. I select one of these images and click on Place on Canvas to add it to the workspace. The option to zoom in on the document based on the percentage index is available in the top menu of the site. With the eye icon in the Layers panel, one can find and hide a layer. From the left menu, I click on the Image to Image option again. I click on Stylerize once more. After a short while, thumbnail previews of four new cartoon images are displayed. I hover over these thumbnails to review the new cartoon images. I select another one of these images and click on Place on Canvas to add it to the workspace. With the eye icon in the Layers panel, one can find and hide a layer, and this is also how we can specify the desired image for saving. To save the images, I click on the Export button located in the top right section. In the window that opens, I select the JPEG option from the File Type section. I click on the Download button. To save the next layer, all I need to do is turn off the eye icon for each layer. After that, I click on the Download button again, and the next layer is also downloaded. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it has been informative and useful. Don't forget to like this video, leave your comments or any questions you have, and subscribe to my channel, Iman Global, for more AI-related content. Stay curious, keep learning, and embrace artificial intelligence. I'm Iman, and I'll see you in the next video.